Hey guys, my name is Isak and today I'm going to be showing you how to start a bonsai from an air layering. Now, in my last video I showed you guys a bonsai that I had actually started a few months ago from an air layering and today I'm just going to be showing you guys the first step in the process. So here we're just going to be taking the plastic off and then cutting this top part of the tree off um, getting it to grow by itself and then eventually we'll start styling it and turning it into a bonsai but this video today is just to show you guys how it looks like right when you take the air layering off and put this plant up um, what kind of result you get there from the air layering and then of course the bottom half of this plant I will also eventually turn into some kind of bonsai but that's for another video so let me go ahead and cut the plastic off and show you guys how it actually looks like under there. All right, as you can see, it has grown some roots, not a crazy amount of roots, but that's okay because from my experience, once it starts growing roots, then the top half of the tree knows that, hey, I need to grow my own roots. And so once you plant it, it will just keep growing roots. It's not gonna go through the whole process that, for example, a cutting would go through of having to realize that it needs to start growing roots. So let me cut off this top part of the tree and then I'll show you guys what I plant them in and how to get it going and growing into a healthy tree by itself. And there you go, now we have two trees. So the parent tree is just going to keep growing normally and the air layering that we cut from it will keep growing its roots and eventually turn into a beautiful tree of its own. Now I removed most of the foliage that's important because the roots can't handle a lot of leaves right now especially as we did see it doesn't have a crazy root system yet so I removed a lot of the foliage actually most of it and that's just gonna help it keep in balance and not start dropping leaves. Now I potted this up in gravel, sand and peat, so peat in the bottom of the pot, some sand and then just a little bit of gravel to hold it in place. You could also just put it into moss or peat or sand, it doesn't really matter as long as it has really good drainage. Now I left the root system undisturbed with the moss that was on there and just stuck it into the pot right like that. You don't want to go prying the roots loose or taking the moss away right now. You basically just want to get it to settle into a pot and then you can do any root work once it's had time to actually grow a good root system. Now another important thing is I didn't cut all the way to the small branch but I left a little stump and sealed it off. That just helps that it doesn't dry um, down too much and actually kill this thin little branch. Now I'm just going to let it grow in here for a couple of months until I see a lot of roots coming out of the bottom of the pot and then I will repot it and style it into some kind of bonsai. I'm not sure what yet but as you can see I already have a great head start with this thick trunk. So I hope you guys know and understand better now how to start a bonsai from an air layering. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around. 